Prime Minister Hitler adjusts the terror threat level. Right, well, it looks as if all systems are go for a celebration. The global production level of pizza has been fully restored by the Pete's Krieg. I say, laddies, this is the finest culinary triumph since the Yanks elected a jelly donut to the presidency. Good plan, sir. We may, however, need to adopt a few minor adjustments. It seems our gent in the field has taken the Pete's Krieg even beyond the necessary level. Not to worry, lads. C-130s are out of Travis and Beale, delivering happy cows to Wisconsin. Plenty to meet the production demands, even if they need Lucy and Ethel to help. Wisconsin has plenty of packers. Rick Santorum again. I uh, beg your pardon, Prime Minister, but speaking of overtly exuberant fudge packing, I'm just what exactly are you implying? Well, well no, sir, this, it's Scott. Shall I say Vaughan Scott? It's all right, Brad. Never mind. I see. You see, I have borne a certain apprehension that our affirmative action program for undersea students would not always produce achievers like Philippe Cousteau. Well, sorry about that impertinent statement, sir. Terribly rude of me to Godwin the silly wanker. Really, Brad, it's nothing. The situation has changed. And I know you're adaptable. Let's gauge whether Scott is adaptable as well. For now, we need a few volunteers to rotate in and help at the front lines of the Pete's Creek. Come now, chaps. Her Majesty will be most pleased by a strong showing of support. Good man, Blair. Your efforts will help maintain the state of morale in the happy cows. Uh, later on, Dos Corquier will treat you to a really good time in Cali. Now then, Ludlow. Just where's all this poppycock and twaddle that's been circulating about Dos Corquier's brain damage as the last bot, speaking openly and plainly to the general public, about the $140 million redistribution of taxpayer assets into Halifarbin's coffers. I mean, really, a great deal's at stake. This is information, if it's really correct, that Scott's been putting their naughty tongue to use, even beyond us Cookfuehrer's orders. It very well could signify that Scott's own confessions are causing this massive pitzkrieg. Now then, just how open has Scott been with publicising all this information? Heavens to Betsy, do try to focus. JFK, blown away. What else do I have to say? What? They elected a jelly donut? Uh, sir, a phone call revealed that Scott's always... He says the same things in public as in private. Fuck, I say. That's correct. The off words you have to suffice is our default summary of our achievement narrative. This news about Scott means that the impetuous little anal abortion has been talking publicly about the $140 million diverted from taxpayers to special interests. Scott must have revealed the illegal firing of the security guards. And TMI regarding what Scott prefers to describe as the addictively superb flavour of Storskorkfjord's rectum and cope that cerebral lepton. He just falls for it. To Marquette, to Marquette, to buy a fucking pig. Dear Lord, that reminds me, he must have told the public all about Von Holland's Taliban bullshit. Not a good pitch man, sir. Shall I do us in baseball and send him to the showers? I'll refrain from engaging in a snap decision on the matter. Whatever we do, we must take into consideration the appropriate sorts of an adjustment to the official terror threat level. Povich, you and Springer are rather well versed in this area. Let's begin with your input. In similar cases, we've gone with a level five or six, I suppose. This one goes to nine. Across the pond, they wear cheese wedges to protect their soft little brains. It's true, they don't like math. We could try Posh and Piffle. Dastardly. Oh, good lord. Wensleydale. Yes? Damn the torpedoes. Full speed ahead. Mind the gap. None shall pass. It's okay. The doctors didn't let Rob boat from a cane, remember? We need a real architects of fear device here, but without overdoing it and attracting the mental patients the way we did with McCain. Perhaps something like run for it. Be afraid. Be quite afraid. Elvis is exceedingly not well. Right, do not compel me to turn this car around. Do not go there, girlfriend. Caution, melty cheese is hot. By Jove. Well, these are the times that try men's souls. All very fine input, gentlemen, but we need to fully reflect the current, um... Zeitgeist. Yes? It astonishes human credulity that the Cokes can take the simple task, like living off the millions that their grandpa got for cutting deals with Stalin, and drag political discourse down, down from the Sarah Palin and Christine O'Donnell level, to the level of Scott Walker and Van Halen. 
Mmm, melty cheese. Gentlemen, we have sent a pusillanimous rectal scab to do an intern's job. We trusted somebody who cannot meet any known performance standards. We now must face the consequences. Bloody hell. I conclude that we must pull out all the stops and raise the terror threat level to... God bugger us, everyone.